Hey guys, so I'm here today to film a haul for you. I actually placed an order from Coastal Scents, which I haven't done for a while. I've never really placed a huge order from Coastal Scents because I'm not really like super obsessed with their stuff, but I saw that they have these new things called the Revealed Palettes, and the Revealed 1 palette is supposed to be a dupe of the Naked 1 and Naked 2, and the Revealed 2 palette is a dupe of the Naked 3 palette, so I needed them. Um, I got the Revealed 1 and 2 palettes. These are $20 for... 20 eyeshadows, which is, how can I say no to that? I can't. So the revealed one palette, which is supposed to be a dupe of the Naked 1 and 2 palettes, which I own both of, so I really don't know why I felt the need to buy this, because I literally own both the palettes this is supposed to be a dupe of, but it was $20 for 20 eyeshadows, and I couldn't say no. I really wanted to test out the shadows. I'm actually wearing them on my lid today. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm wearing this shimmery color here, which is literally the exact same color as Virgin. And then I'm wearing the two matte brown colors, which are literally dupes for Naked and Buck. Um, I haven't really tried any other shadows in this palette, but I just want you to like look at the pigmentation on those shadows. It's fantastic. And for $20 for 20 eyeshadows, like I literally am so excited. Let me touch some of these taupey shades. Mm, look at that. Look at it. And then let's go with like I'm going to assume the matte, oh, the matte black's not bad. Let me swatch it. If I swatch it, it's a little chalky, but, like, honestly, that is not bad. So, yeah, it has um, five mattes in it, which is not bad. It's about the same amount that Urban Decay has. It's got a matte highlight, matte transition color, a matte brown. It's got the matte black, and it has these gorgeous shimmery taupes along with some other shimmery colors. I just think it's phenomenal and a great price for what it is as well. Um, and then I also picked up the Revealed 2 palette because I've been debating getting the Naked 3 palette since it launched, which I believe was last year at this point. But I'm just like so cool toned and I don't really love to wear pink eyeshadows, so I just wasn't sure if pink eyeshadows would be, would look good on me and I didn't know who wanted to spend like $65 on 12 pink eyeshadows either. I love Urban Decay's eyeshadows and I love the Naked 1 and I really like the Naked 2 palette, but I just wasn't sure if I wanted to bite the bullet. And when I saw this, I just knew my dreams had come true. There are 20 shadows. They are all pink toned, burgundy toned, gold toned. This rose gold color shut the front door. Oh, it's a little chalky, but like, look at that. That's beautiful. I used this shimmery pink color yesterday and it's so glittery. I thought the pigmentation would be horrible, but like it just has this nice like chunky glitter in it. I mean, obviously Urban Decay is known for their really chunky glitters. They're really glittery shadows, which you're not going to find as good of quality in here. Obviously it's not Urban Decay, but I would say the shadows are fantastic. That matte burgundy shut the front door. There are... Seven mattes in this palette, which is phenomenal. Let me swatch that matte black. Ugh. This one actually looks like it might be better than the other one. Let's see. Yeah, so this is the matte black from the Revealed 1 palette and the matte black from the Revealed 2 palette. Obviously, they've reformulated their black for the Revealed 2, and this black is super pigmented. I would say that's amazing quality black. Like, look at it. It's so pigmented. I adore it. I'm looking for my wet wipe <laughs> to clean my hands off. But like, I just think that these shadows are great quality and not even just for what they are, you know, they're good shadows for a dollar a shadow, but they're still fantastic. I am so excited to use these. I'm just pumped. They're gonna be great for travel because you're getting so many shadows. You can basically travel with the Naked 1 and 2 palette with this palette without actually having to bring either of them and it's just so small and compact and it has this cardboard packaging but it has like the magnetic closure which is fantastic i just think these palettes are to die for i can't rave about them enough this palette has such gorgeous shades can we just like swatch one more like just look at this like black with like purple glitter in it shut up i can't even oh look at it i love it so yeah, I am super pumped about those. I also really love that uh, the stuff got shipped and every like packaging comes with a little like bubble wrap sleeve wrapped around the palette inside, which is just fantastic, which is like 
something you wouldn't expect to come from a from Coastal Scents with such a low end brand, but they've got like really great stuff. And then while I was on the website, I also decided to pick up some blush. So I saw this blush two palette, which I just needed. I hate the closure on this. It literally takes me like 12 hours to open it every day. Is my tripod shaking? It's because my cat is rubbing herself on it. Hey you, stop it. Stop it. She's kind of needy right now. I'm still trying to open this eyeshadow. Oh, there it is, this blush palette. Okay, so you get 10 blushes. This was, I, I should probably look at pricing. What is my life? I have my thing here. Um, the blush two palette was $15.95 for 10 blushes. Am again, amazing. They are so pigmented. I literally saw this palette and saw this freaking purple blush and thought, yep, need that. That blush alone's worth $15. So I got them all. It's just a really nice palette with like pinks and it's got this orange and these other like neutral colors. I probably would never use this like weird brown, but it's a really soft, like creamy color, but it's just way too warm for me. But I used this orange today and OMG, it's pigmented. I don't know if you can see, you could probably see it on my cheeks. I put some on <laughs> with like a really like fluffy brush so that it wouldn't be all over the place. And literally I was like, OMG, I'm like an orange clown. So yeah, be careful with these. They're very pigmented, which I guess makes them a little bit more difficult to work with. But I mean, these shades over here were super easy to work with. I just think it's beautiful like that. Um, and then they also have these new Forever blushes, which I actually haven't opened this one yet or touched it yet, so it's so exciting. This blush, as soon as I looked at it, it reminded me of Exhibit A. I have a really difficult time ordering blush online because I just, I, don't, I like to see things in person when it comes to blush and lipstick. But I saw this and was like, yep, I don't have this in my collection because I always end up just buying baby pinks and like neutral pink colors and being like, cool, I totally need 12 pink blushes. But this one reminded me of NARS Exhibit A and I was like, that is flawless. Um, this is a matte, it's called Radiant. Just like, oh my God, look at it. I'm so excited. And I'm assuming, I've heard great things about their Forever blushes. It does blend out a little bit nicer than the other, like the bl other blushes. These are a different formulation than their palette blushes, but that's going to be gorgeous for the summer. I'm so excited. And you, I like that it has like this little semicircle kind of deal here that I can actually see what the color is. And then you know I can't place an order from Coastal Scents without picking up some brushes. I just, it's like, they're a dollar. How can I say no? I can't. Um, I got one face brush, which is called the Bionic Flat Top Buffer. It was $6.95 for this brush. It's a little bit warped. I haven't washed it yet. Um, it's, I don't think it's super dense. It kind of reminded me of my, either Sigma F80 or my e.l.f. powder brush. So I wanted to try it out. I like to use flat top powder brushes to just kind of pat powder on my face. I don't like to rub my powder on or dust it on to find it disrupts my foundation. So yeah. I got that, $6.95. I haven't tried any of these brushes yet because um, I haven't washed them yet, but yeah. Then I picked up a small, what's it called? A small, I think it's called the Classic Stippling Small Synthetic. This was $4.95. This is just a baby stippling brush. I actually, I have the Sonia Kashuk Small Stippling Brush that I love for cream blush and I thought it would be similar. It, it is a little bit smaller, as you can see if I show you the faces kind of, it's a little bit smaller. I feel like it's also a little bit, it's way denser and the stippling actual part is tinier. So I see this might be too small for cream blush, but it might be perfect for contour. So I'm probably gonna try that both ways and see how I like it. Um, I got a flat shader brush just because I like to have a nice flat shader brush. Oh, this is really stiff. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Um, this one is the, Classic Shader Medium Synthetic. To me, it feels really much like a lot like a concealer brush, which I don't love, but it'll probably work to pack on color nicely. So there's that. And that was $2.49 steel. I also got a pointed crease brush, which is the Classic Blender Pointed Synthetic, which was $2.95. I also got the classic blender crease synthetic, which was $2.94, but I can't find it right now. Sorry, $2.49. I can't find it right now. So like that's somewhere in my room. Who knows? And then I got two. Oh, it's in my lap. <laughs> that's the class. Oh no, wait. This is my problem. 
which one of these is pointed? I think one of these is a pointed synthetic brush and one of these is just a crease brush. I'll never know. Do they have numbers? Oh my God, they have numbers. This video is kind of a hot mess today. I really apologize. I'm all over the place. Okay, so this one is pointed and this one is regular. Sure. I just wanted some kind of like really nice crease brushes. Then I got two liner brushes. I got the, they're both synthetic. I got the small synthetic liner brush and the regular synthetic liner brush. I kind of feel like I should have got medium. The regular looks a little bit large to do liner, but this one, awesome. And then while I was perusing the site, I saw these uh, Coastal Scents glitter powders. And this is in the color, whoa, glitter ever, blackout. And it is just a black glitter. It only has three little holes in the sifter, which is fantastic because I don't wanna get glitter everywhere. And I actually just applied it to my hand with some glitter glue. So this is it by itself. Obviously it's not gonna be as pigmented. And then this is it over top of a black base, which I just think is gonna look fantastic. I love the idea of black glitter and I was so excited to find this. Awesome. And then also, Coastal Scents always, I think, sends you a little quad of eyeshadows when you order from them. So they sent me Arctic Breeze, Laguna Green, Apple Teeny, and Indigo. So I guess it's Arctic Breeze, Arctic Breeze, Laguna Green. That makes no sense. I guess it's Arctic Breeze, Laguna Green, Indigo, and Apple Teeny. Um, today I am wearing Apple Teeny and Arctic Breeze, I guess, as my eyeliner I just use the Annabelle transforming I think it's called the transforming base just like it, it kind of like makes your eyeshadows into liners and I love it so yeah you get these three these shadows um super pigmented these are must be hot pots like just amazing pigmentation it's just like super cool to get free stuff you see a little dar making an appearance back there trying to escape out of this room doesn't know how to leave you're just gonna look at the door and hope someone lets her out. Say hi, Dar. Say hi. So yeah, that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm loving the Coastal Scents stuff. If you used to think they were a shitty makeup brand like I did, definitely check it out. Some of their stuff is fantastic. These reveal palettes are to die for. If one thing is to die for, it's these babies. If you've been thinking about getting the naked palettes and don't want to, don't can't afford it, get these. You can't go wrong for twenty dollars point eyeshadows. So yeah, that's my haul. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.